cute little story about a Mother's Day surprise from a snake. Okay, we'll start over and then we'll send it to Harlan. What a bummer. Okay, we miss you, Harlan. Okay, Violet was a young snake. She liked sliding and slithering and shedding her skin whenever it got old. I need to move this way still. Let me move over. <laughs> All right, in her free time, Violet often played with other animals. She raced the rabbits. And she fooled around with the chipmunks. She hung next to the bats. But as spring was sprung, Violet noticed a change in the air. The other animals were suddenly very busy, too busy to play. Violet wondered why everyone was in such a hurry. What's the rush, she asked a fox trotting by. Things to do, he said. Violet could see that. Well, what thing, she asked, but the fox was already gone. Very busy. Oh, that's a cute skunk. Violet looked around for anyone with a moment to spare. What's going on? She asked a skunk digging in the dirt. We're getting ready for Mother's Day, he explained. Already, said Violet. The skunk laughed. Well, you can't start too soon. It, take it takes time to make the perfect gift. Violet had to admit that was true. But what kind of gift would be perfect for her mother? Violet watched a squirrel sorting through a pile of acorns. He was very picky about it. Why are you being so fussy? So look, he is not so crunchy, crunchy, and extra crunchy. Why are you being so fussy, Violet asked. They're for my mother, said the squirrel, and she likes them crunchy. Next, Violet saw a bear crushing some honeycombs. That looks like sticky work, said Violet. The bear agreed, but I have to do it right. My mother likes things just so. Then Violet saw a beaver chomping on a fallen tree trunk. What are you doing, Violet asked. Shh, said the beaver. Don't disturb the artist at work. Sorry, said Violet. I can't afford to make any mistakes, the beaver went on. When I'm done, my mother will love this. Violet was glad everyone was working so hard, but that wasn't helping her. What she could do, what could she do for her own mother? Without arms or legs or teeth, she couldn't make anything like the other animals. Never before had Violet felt it was hard being a snake, but she felt that way now. Okay. As Mother's Day approached, Violet got sadder and sadder. The other animals were finishing up their gifts. And Violet still hadn't started hers. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair at all. Then Violet got an idea. Are you ready to find out? All right. All right. She got an idea. All right. Here she goes. She practiced and practiced her present in secret. I'm still not very good at holding the book up to the camera. It was tricky business. On the morning of Mother's Day, which is Sunday for us, all the animals were ready with their presents. Oh, look, you see the acorns. Cute. Oh, look what the bear got. Can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. A pot of honey, maybe. 
All right, and there's Violet, ready to give her mom her present. Violet was ready to, here it is. Happy Mother's Day, shouted Violet. Oh my, said his, her mother, what a nice surprise. It's perfect, Violet, absolutely perfect. Violet was very happy. Even without arms or legs or teeth, she had shown her mother just how she felt. Aw, and her mother felt the same way too. The end.